In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how we can convert a structure to a 2 by n cell array. And what we're going to do is we're, we've been given a structure with all of the fields containing the appropriate information. And we want to convert that to a cell array containing the information. And we want the first row to contain the field names and the second row to contain the information. So let's consider that we're giving a structure called player, and it contains the fields first name, last name, salary, jersey number, position, height, weight, points per game, hometown, home state, and a logical for if, if the person is a captain on the team. And so printing all of this information or displaying all of this information, we're able to output the information of the structure for player. Now what we want to do is truncate this into another, into a cell array. And so we want to consider how we can assign the appropriate columns of the first row to represent the field names contained in player. And so we're going to do this for one for the columns and equal, and it's going to be set equal to field names of player. <clears throat> and so the columns length is going to be obtained for our newly created cell array. And now what we want to do is convert those, convert the columns into we want to take the, the information obtained in Celery and convert that <clears throat> into our second row of our Celery. And so we'll say for, for our Celery row two, and then for C, starting with each of the columns, we're going to assign it to be player, and then we're going to take the appropriate information for, for CA for one, and then the appropriate column for the first iteration. So this will obtain the contents of the sale for, for two, one. And so essentially it'll assign it to be player and then the first name, essentially, the, the actual value. So this will increment through for each of the values in our structure. So it'll start and it'll store it for the values for Bob Smith, 200,000, the Jersey number and the position. And these components will all be stored into the structure as a part of the second row. And so at the end of the iteration of our for loop, we'll be able to print out the data and it'll be a two by n cell array where the first row will represent each of the, will represent the header information for each value. And then the second row will contain the actual values that we have. And so this is an example of how we can convert a structure into a two by n cell array.